officer are defending a nurse who ignored a 911 operator's desperate pleas to give CPR to a woman dying before her. Listen. We need to get CPR started. That's not enough. Okay. Um, let me. Uh, yeah, we can't do CPR. So okay, then hand the phone. Just hand, hand the phone to the passerby. Oh, Anybody yeah. there can do CPR. Give them the phone, please. I understand if you if your facility is not willing to do that. Give the phone to that passerby, that that stranger that had that dent. I need this woman's not breathing enough. She's gonna die if we don't get this started. I don't know where he is, but she's yelling at me and saying that we have to have one of our other residents perform um, CPR. I feel instruct, and I'm not going to do that. You're going to let this lady say, die? Well, that's why we're calling 911. We sorry. can't wait. He's saying we don't, so you can talk to my boss, and I'm... Okay. I don't know. They're, they're refusing say. CPR. They're going to let her die. As a human being, I don't... You know, is there anybody that's, where, yeah. that's willing to help this lady and not let her die? Well, there was no one, and the woman did die at the age of 87. But the executive director of the facility said the nurse was following policy. He issued a statement, and it reads as follows. In the event of a health emergency at this independent living community, our practice is to immediately call emergency medical personnel for assistance and to wait with the individual needing attention until such personnel arrives. So, criminal defense attorney Heather Hansen joins us now. An independent facility where the woman who is a nurse is being told by her boss, don't do it. That's right. You know, it's really a question of policy over people. And I think that that's what people, what's really resonating with people when they see this 911 call, that mm. putting a policy over a human life. But the problem is that the policies are instituted for reasons. It protects the, the people who stay at that facility, and it protects the employees from litigation. Unfortunately, that is part of the process of weighing. There are three facilities within a facility, right? That's right. They're adjacent to one another. That's correct, Chef. So there, there's one that's an independent living center, which is this one. There's an assisted living center. And there's a skilled nursing facility. Uh -huh. At the assisted living center and at the skilled nursing facility, this would not have happened. Theoretically, there would be medical care available at those different facilities. At this facility, the independent facility, the patients or their family members actually read a contract and sign off saying that they recognize that the personnel there is not going to provide CPR. It's almost as if they assumed the risk. And part of the reason for that is this facility, take uh, houses a lot of people who are not young. Well, that's exactly right. And a lot of people, when they go to these uh, facilities, they eventually die there. And had this woman performed CPR, and as a, for instance you give, she had lived and had some brain damage, well, then there would have been huge liability. Many of these patients are going to have DNRs, do not resuscitates. Mm -hmm. I think if you listen to that tape, you see some hesitation there. And one, at one point she says, I'm not going to make that call. I'm not sure that they knew whether or not she had a DNR in place. Had they resuscitated her and there was a DNR in place, we could be here talking about something very different. So she had a choice to make. That nurse was really between a rock and a hard place. As a caregiver, uh, where your primary oath is to that patient, man, that must be hard. It's got to be hard, and, and it's really got to be hard what she's going through now with all the vilification in the press. You would, her response on the 911 tape seems very blasé, and I think that's part of what bothers people so much. When you listen to the whole seven minutes, it's a little bit more responsive, and it has to be terribly hard for anybody in the medical profession to watch something like this happen and not do anything. Can anything happen to that nurse and or that facility for not giving CPR to a woman who was dying? Currently, they are not looking into criminal charges, mm -hmm. and the family members, the daughter is a nurse, and she's already said she's completely comfortable with the care that her mother received at that facility. Tough to listen to. It sure is. Yeah. Heather, thank you. Thank you.